Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, new education policy, one of the waste topic. Waste. By seeing the name itself, we can conclude that new education policy 2020 is a waste. Yeah, that is in your mind. Keep <laughs> that is in your mind. It's a waste topic like that. But keep in your mind, more than 500 times it was appeared in the IAS examination, IPS examination, group one examination, group two, group three, group four, either you are a pharmacy student or MBBS student, nursing student, irrespective of your thing, there is a common, common paper will be there. For example, if you want to write the drug inspector uh, or NIPER examination, there will be one general attitude uh, paper will be there, general studies. In that this topic, definitely it comes, definitely. So don't think that it is a waste topic. It is a very powerful topic. Compulsory, there will be another one question uh, from this. One to three questions will be there from this. New education policy, okay? 2020, 2020 match. Yeah, that we will see now. What is this uh, new education policy? Uh, see, he's a, this new education policy committee head. Kasturi Rangan, Dr. Krishnaswamy Kasturi Rangan, number of times it was appeared in the question papers throughout India, either it is a APPSC or TSPSC, whatever it may be, any state level or central level, this question was number of times it was appeared. Dr. Krishnaswamy Kasturi Rangan, Dr. K, shortcutly K Kasturi Rangan, he was the ex-director of ISRO and head of the committee. Okay, he's the head of the committee. He only developed the, he drafted this new education policy. Very, 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 very important bit. Okay, so actually he was worked, he's actually not ordinary man. He's an extraordinary man. He's a he-man. He's a shakti man. He's a superman. He's a spider man. Now what not? He's an iron man. Okay, number of men together. He's a Dr. Krishna Swami Kasturi Rangan. Ex successfully uh, completed his uh, ISRO chairman. Okay. He was the head of the department. One day, one fine day, Narendra Modi has called Kasturi Rangan. He told that you develop a new educational policy to India so that it has to be reach the space. India must be in the globally uh, first in the education system. Like that, he instructed the Kasturi Rangan so that he used entire his uh, uh, efforts and finally he made the Kasturi Rangan very, 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 very important. He is an ex-director of ISRO. ISRO means Indian Space Research Organization, not NASA. NASA means it is a, it belongs to America. Yeah. Education and policies in India, there was a three was there. Now this is three, third one. That's it. There is no much educational policies right from the starting. First introduced very, very, very important points. All this. First one is by the Indira Gandhi. First educational policy. Second education policy by the Rajiv Gandhi. Third education policy is this is. Okay, new educational policy 2020. It was introduced in the 1968. Whereas here, second one, 1986, it is just reverse. 1968, easily you can keep in your mind. 68, 86. First is 68, we'll start generally. We know that. And 2020, we know this is a new educational policy 2020. National policy on education. This is called as a national policy on education. This is also called as national policy on education. Whereas this is called as a new educational policy. Don't change the terminology. New educational policy, in short, NEP. It is called as a 2020. And uh, first educational committee was uh, framed by the Kotari committee. Kotari. Okay, first one is Kotari committee. And it also starts with the K. Kasturi Rangan, Krishna Swam, this is also K. Keep in your mind. Whereas the second one, uh, they didn't give any uh, name in anywhere. Uh, there was uh, no name. But uh, this second policy was amended in 1992 by the in the era of uh, P.V. Narasimha Rao. That point you have to keep in your own. Only second policy is slightly changed. Now, we are running a... See, this is a old education system is uh, look like this. Whereas a new education system, you can't believe that much of uh, thriller, suspense, thriller, twists, will be there in the in the suspense movie you can find a number of twists in the same fashion here also twists you will shock one by one you will get a shock completely stylish like a stylish superstar uh, rajnikan this is a old educational system in the shivaji movie he has a two faces this is a, this this is a good boss uh, this topic this is was a new educational policy 2020 okay this is uh, old style right so, yeah in 19 uh, sorry, 2015, 
a committee under former cabinet secretary like a tsr subramanian he started consulting of a process of new educational policy in the 2015 itself uh, tsr not trs okay tsr subramanian he started consulting he he thought that uh, new educational policy we want like that uh, he thought in 2000 january 2015 so that what happened based on he he, he reported one uh, he thought that it is better to put one committee on this uh, new educational policy like that he strongly recommended tsr subramanian he started consultation with the central government and based on the, his committee report uh, kasturi uh, kasturi rangan committee was established see here established kasturi rangan committee dates are very very important again kasturi rangan committee was 2017 established kasturi rangan committee was siparsed uh, or uh, recommended by to whom tsr subramanian with which year 2015 so seeds are there from 2015 tsr subramanian he strongly recommended established so kasthur rangan committee was uh, resulted this kasthur rangan committee was established in the 2017 he took nearly 3 years just imagine and he submitted uh, to mhrd this is also important to whom uh, kasthur rangan committee was reported mhrd okay ministry of human uh, that is uh, you know Uh, in the uh, 31st of 5 2019 see here 2017 2018 2019 nearly 3 years or 2 and a half years it was completed and finally it was approved by the this is also very very important bit approved by the parliament that's why we are calling as a new educational policy 2020 he submitted in the 19 started in the 17 subramanian is the 15 okay approved by union cabinet of india parliament then it came into act very very important one uh, you maybe your childs will follow uh, this one okay uh, from next year onwards this uh, this will be established okay and nep new educational policy is a very big book and it was uh, 484 pages are there over 2 lakh suggestions was taken by the kasturi rangan uh, 2. Point, see here 2.5 lakh gram panchayats he visited 6.6000 blocks 6000 urban local bodies 676 districts uh, Uh, 2 lakh suggestions he was received see here 2 lakh suggestions very very important and it is india's new education system uh, at present now uh, from this academic year onwards they have to establish but we don't know what happened because corona is also entered now so it is a india's new education system it replaces the national policy on education 1986 uh, replace this is also important which of the system uh, old education system replaced by the 2020 1986 was replaced by the 2020 new educational policy india after 34 years very very important 34 years after 34 years this is only the change only third this is the third one aim is to transform the india's education system completely transformation just like shivaji rajnikanth in the movie and it was introduced by the government of india and mhrd minister and this is the main vision of that uh, main nothing here two things what you have to keep in your mind india must be educationally top in the globe that is the number one indian is a student it, he must be a global citizen he must be a global citizen that point you have to keep in your mind this is very important what i am saying in the latter slides i will explain you um, why means they introduced all the languages all the languages uh, reading in all the languages is encouraged by the kasturi rangan because then only you will become a global leader like that that's why i told you two points are very very important vibrant knowledge of india high quality of education to provide high quality of education to all students are globally well being globally well being students are truly global citizen see here globally wherever you can access because this education system makes you to access to anywhere in the globe in the world okay india is a global knowledge to make the india global knowledge a superpower so india must be globally high super power indian student must be globally top that is the main thing okay to make the perfect indian students perfect indian students in all the aspects like a knowledge thoughts intellectual property skills values spirits etc these are the five foundation pillars access it uh, this new educational system it must be access to poor student old rich student middle class student it must be access easily accessible first number one accessibility all irrespective of economical uh, barriers and uh, second one is equality 
all are equal here even poor student rich student middle class student all are equal here first one is access equal quality high quality of education affordable very cheap very cheap fees it must be reduced as possible okay it must be affordable and accountability yearly how many graduates are coming there must be a proper accountability will be there then only the transparency is possible these are the five foundation pillars of the nep and if you see the structure 848 pages are nearly uh, we can uh, they divided into four parts this is also very important and they asked in the examination how many parts are there in the nep structure four parts are there school education higher education part 1 this is also part 1 what part 2 what match the following they will give in the examination okay in the competitive examination part 3 other key areas to focus and uh, part 4 making it happen one and two are very very important first we will see school education what is the school later we will see higher education that's it the two are very very important remaining and all uh, part 3 and part 4 just uh, only names are important that's it okay school education school education presently we are doing as a 10 plus 2 but it is completely changed from this year onwards okay old system see this is a 10 plus 2 up to 10th class and uh, to that is a intermediate junior inter and senior inter in future there is no inter, junior inter college no no senior inter college new system 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 this this is also appeared a number of times in the uh, question see this is according to age see this is a age is how the age is first one year and second year uh, school is not required okay just he will grow in the home only third th third fourth fifth year okay see here the even is a third year fourth year fifth year pre schooling bala vatika this is also very important third term bala vatika what is bala vatika in the exam they last this is called as a pre schooling pre schooling child care also education come child care comprehensive educational care child care as well as the uh, care and education 6th and 7th first and second classes first class second class at the age of 6th 7th at the age of 8 to 9 to 10 third fourth fifth classes 11th to 12th to 13th 6th to 7th to 8th classes see 9th class 10th class 11th class and uh, 12th class like a junior inter and senior inter now it is removed inter colleges must be included in the schools so in future you can't see junior college you can't see the senior inter okay so up to by 17 the age he has to complete the almost 12 classes uh, he completed so that's why see here 5 3 3 4 4 uh, so here 5 is there here 3 is there here also 3 is there here 1 2 3 4 4 is there like that 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 uh, these points very important no exams uh, you will be jump like anything by listening that children will be feel very happy there is no examinations uh, keep in your mind no yearly examination only third fifth eighth tenth twelfth only five out of uh, nearly 15 uh, classes like uh, including bala vatika only five will be there exams third fifth class eighth class tenth class twelfth classes okay establishment of national institute of pali persian language prakrit indian institute of translation is highly recommended by the i think there must be a special university like that Uh, like a national national level institute like a nit iit nit in the same fashion there must be a nit in the pali nit in the persian language nit in the prakrit language okay and indian institute of translation just like iit indian institute of technology translation one language to another languages just imagine students burden must be reduced examination burden bed is completely changing from minimum qualification for teacher is a bed Uh, old bed is one year we know uh, around a yeah, nine months actually uh, to say frankly uh, yeah, almost one year new bed will be four years integrated m phil was discontinued there there will be you can't see the m phil in the future okay only bed will be there bed is a compulsory because school is uh, very very important and uh, languages and what are the main recommendations here is the mhrd should be renamed as a ministry of education this is the first what they have given name of the mhr ministry of human resource development it must be changed to ministry of education name should be changed up to fifth class mother tongue is important 
local language is important see if you learn the telugu if you learn the local language that is a local language you can learn the english also but from the starting itself if you learn the english you can't learn the local language that is the main logic here that's why if you learn the logic uh, local language you will become an expert of both local language as well as english but if starting if you learn the english you fixed only to english it is very difficult to learn the local language that's why up to fifth class mother tongue local language only okay from the sixth class onwards any language choice uh, will be given to the students only there is no compulsion and it promotes the multilingualism in the schools multi languages because he, we don't know where he will settle in the italy or spanish arabic dari english or turkish or greek we uh, see uh, in the future see here how you may settle that we don't know that's why main important key lang key concept key languages they will encourage that is a main concept here you have to keep it multi language up to fifth mother language only uh, tamil nadu people they will make a big issue uh, on this they wrote the letter to modi also uh, why you are forcing a hindi and all government has given a clarification that we are not at all forcing we are not at all forcing no one will be forced to the student any particular language up to fifth class that is a local or regional later either you can follow either hindi or whatever it may be that is there is no particular language that is your wish the medium of the instruction will not be shifted from english to any other languages the medium of instruction see keep in your mind the medium of instruction will not be shifted from english to any other regional language okay it is not hindi because uh, tamil nadu people they will thought that uh, there will be an uh, hindi 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 they will make a force like that but the government has given clarification that it is english only okay uh, but however it is a student choice generally they will prefer the english but if the student choice uh, he want a hindi means he can take no problem from 6th class onwards uh, this one <coughs> activities uh, uh, vocation course from the 6th class onwards because vocational course is uh, very important it is more expertise more expertise than the engineering diploma whatever it may they have more practical knowledge than the regular courses i will tell you what is the difference between the regular course and uh, this one and nep 2020 structure uh, higher education that we will see now very 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 drastical change in the bachelor degree and master degree a degree program will be 3 to 4 years of uh, duration degree program just uh, think that actually now we have a btech or b pharm for four years only but it may be a 3 to 4 years 3 or 4 years of the duration that's it okay student can leave the course at any year either first year second year third year also no problem at all he can leave it certificate after completing one year uh, the uh, college or university has to give a certificate that he has completed one year of the course like that the government will give you the uh, certificate and uh, if you complete only two years and if you leave no they will give you as a diploma a diploma certificate okay he completed only diploma not the degree because three years not completed okay but however student has a choice he can leave at first year second year third year and fourth year and bachelor's degree after three years bachelor's degree multidisciplinary bachelor specialization will come in the fourth year like a mechanical civil uh, uh, like that fourth year so multidisciplinary bachelor's degree after four years only but three years general degree four years this is a, like that uh, new courses new syllabuses will be come in the future definitely and uh, masters program uh, one or two years uh, of uh, duration okay uh, two years with uh, three years bachelor degree so if you completed three years bachelor degree your master degree will be two years okay but if you are completing this multidisciplinary four years bachelor then your master program will be only one year that's it so one year you can get a master degree integrated five year master degree program you can say it is so four year you have completed here and one year if you join a master degree within five years you will get a both both degrees right and phd entry eligibility master degree master degree either it may be one year or two year master degree must be there and another one is Uh, otherwise directly you can go to with the help of uh, just four years uh, uh, research bachelor only directly you can go to the phd also and there uh, aicte ugc all this will be merges in future definitely 
uh, highly recommended that uh, there will be a uh, single committee only, not like a UGC, AICT, different bodies are there. All these bodies has to be merged together and they will form only one body that is called a HECI, Higher Education Commission of India. The name, name also they have given clearly, only one committee must be there. That committee name is Higher Education Commission of India. Okay, it will be a single overarching umbrella for uh, body of the entire higher education, only single body for all higher educations. That's it. Uh, like, uh, and it excludes the medical and uh, legal education like uh, LLB, that's and all. In future, we can expect here yeah, to merge of UGC and AICT compulsory. There will be a merge or complete removal or demolish or dissolution of this uh, thing. HECI must have uh, four uh, independent verticals like regulation, NHERC, National Higher Education Regulatory Council for uh, Regulation, GEC, General Education Council for uh, Standard Setting. See here, uh, these, there must be a four parallel independent verticals. All these are the, nobody has, must influence the another's like that. One, two, three, four vertical lines are very, very important. Okay, so HECI must consist of a, only four bodies, one for uh, regulation, to set a one another one uh, setting of the standards, another one set, uh, giving the funds, and another one is uh, for the accreditation approval, like NB, NAC, uh, like the NAC, HEGC, GEC, NHERC, like that, right? And university, <coughs> there will be only one unit. See here, this is the same one. I have made a cut copy paste from the book only. Very important one. Affiliated, see. Uh, HEC in the country, the present complex, see here, this line, very important. The present complex nomenclature of HEI, higher educational institutes in the country, such as a demon to be university, affiliating university, affiliation technical university, all shall be replaced simply with the university. You can, there is no deemed universities and all in future. Only university will be there. That university also two types, research university or teaching university. Only teaching they will do, they will not do any research. Here they'll do only research, they'll not teach like that. See, all the big universities will be classified according to either research university or teaching university only. And there will be one credit bank will be there. Academic bank of credit, a bank for the student, not for the money. This is not for the money, okay? But there must be a bank for academic bank for the credits. So all your credits, uh, will be uh, from your childhood to the higher education. All the credits will be stored in the academic bank of credit. Uh, how academic bank of credit works? It will be a digital entry. If you want, you can uh, go through students, can select the course and combination. That are students, uh, they can, however they want, they can design their own course. Like a tailoring, here I have shown the, there will, uh, there will be no Excel, double Excel, triple Excel sizes and all. Students, however they want, according to their measures, their degree. Two years they want, two years, one year they want, one year. Like that's their wish. Okay, like that completely changing in this one. They can choose the uh, pace of students. They can tailor their, see here, they can tailor their degree by making the modification and specialization. Whatever they want specialization, they can take. No problem at all. But it's a government uh, duty to uh, academic bank of credit, very, very important. And uh, we know that national testing agency, uh, which is commonly conducting uh, entrance examination throughout the nation, right? So NTA, National Testing Agency, there must be a twice in a year, but uh, it must uh, conduct a yeah, high quality common aptitude test, uh, must be specialized in common subjects in the science, humanities, languages, arts, vocational subject, all full powers to the National Testing Agency. But however, they have to conduct in all wide varieties of the uh, test and twice in a year. Very big task. Vocational skill. Here you can see uh, establishment of Lokvidya for uh, occasional skills. What is this vocational skill mean? Here you can see the occasional technical schools teach the theory and the science. See here, behind the occupation, while vocational schools take a more hands-on approach, more practical knowledge, more hands-on approach to teaching the skill needed to be a job successfully. Like that, vocational skills establishing compulsory it is called as a lok vidya and a bed course integrated course only there is no one year program by 2030 minimum qualification 
uh, for bed it uh, and they have to complete a minimum four years of degree by 2030 there must be there must be no uh, person no course of that okay and uh, stringent action will be taken against a substandard and stand alone teaching education like at ncrt you know that okay ncetf ncrt both uh, has to combine together they have to sit together and they have to find out stringent action must be they have to be taken and catalyzing the academic research for this research encouragement they have given a the overall reaching goal of nrf will be enabled to culture the research uh, permit through universities nrf national research foundation okay national research foundation must be established very very important okay and uh, it must be in a governor, it must be independent by the government, rotating body of the governors. Okay. Online education highly encouraged. Because of this pandemic and all, now we know what is the importance of online education. Everything is online only in the future, also. In the in the 2019, whenever they are submitting the Kasturangan, there was no pandemic. But however, in the pandemic situation, how must be the education? That also they have thought in the future and they have designed and uh, they included this online education strongly recommended the e-education at both schools and professional colleges promoting online education to face the pandemics pandemic situations epidemics pandemic situation okay and the digital content a dedicated unit digital infrastructure must be provided by them and adult education this is also highly encouraged encouraging the adult uh, education and uh, they instructed that to construct the adult education centers very important this adult education centers must consist of a quality tech-based option for learning through the apps, mobile apps, online course, online modules, online books, satellite-based TV channels directly to the home or ICT equipped libraries and all. Yeah, promotion of Indian languages. Sanskrit is the mother of all the languages in the world. That's why they told you to establish especially IITI in Sanskrit. IITI means Indian Institute of Translation and Interpretation for all the languages, for us, especially for the Sanskrit, they told that Sanskrit is a mother of all the world uh, languages. Okay, so that's why we end here, but it's a very, very important topic. Right, so we will end our session here.